What's good YouTube? It's your boy Almighty CP back with a whole new video. And you if you new to the channel, go like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Yeah, today I'll be doing a review as you can see as the title of Infant and Toddler Medicines. And I have got two requests because I don't have that many subscribers, but at least people request stuff. Um you know, so yeah. Um you already know what uh, Live life to the funnest, not the fullest, and you already know. Let's get into this video. So, I have used a lot of medicines. I have some of the bottles here. Not some of them, but the ones that I use. My child's mother used some different ones, too. Hers you work great, mine's work great. Some of them actually work exactly the same. Um, I'm gonna go with one that my, my child mother used, and that's infants. Robitussin. She said it works pretty good. I didn't see her use it, it works pretty good. If you want want it for nighttime relief, it works pretty good. I feel like at the end of the day, if you're going to sleep, you should give them some nighttime medicine if they're sick, and they go on. What is it? Run, uh, um, what's the name of these things? A deep humidifier. <laughs> and another thing I feel is that, not feel, but another thing that's very true is that, um, that you can look here, do your research. Motrin and ibuprofen, because we're in the middle of a pandemic, are very, very bad things to use on your child or on yourself because it says that it can influence if you have any type of symptoms or anything towards that it will it will actually not it will make it worse you know and or get you more so these are what I was telling you about what you need to do with like age and milligrams and stuff like that for kids it has everything that it has the the weight the age milligrams of what it is, which one it is, type of medicines it is. If you don't have them, get closer of it for you, close up of it for you. So yeah, you got everything for you right here. All the way up to 11, so. Or it can get you more, um, it can get you really more sicker. Let's put it like that, I was gonna use it, a uh, big word. <laughs> I just got my own self flabbergasted. Um, but that's not the point. Um, so I already mentioned on one, as I already tell you all, do not use Motrin or ibuprofen while we're in this pandemic. It's very not good for you. But I have one right here is Zara B Bees. Don't get me wrong. I don't really like using it because the doctor even tell you that this is basically something you can make up in your own house some most of the ingredients some of it is basically yeah like has dark um honey and it has ivy leaves i use me in general you should not if you want to give your child honey or lemon you should make it in a bowl right and do not do not give her a whole thing or him the whole thing you get a syringe i have a syringe and you you put like this much like only this much you see only that about that much with the medicine um because we're they're not a whole child yet they're your child but they're not a kid they're not a kid i'm gonna say it again they're not a kid so their body won't react it will eat like lemon period is a very citrus thing so it eat eats away like the acid from it will eat the um the lining of their stomach up so if you want to do that make sure it's mixed together but put more if you got a lemon cut the lemon in fours put four in it cut the fourth the one fourth of it squeeze it in if you feel like it's not a must squeeze another one then throw it away put a, like some lemon um not lemon honey in it mix it up but keep keep this that will last you for about a week meaning expiration date not meaning that you should it that's going to last you so we're going to get into some more medicines i have top care health infant pain and fever 
this right here is excellent. Like when I mean beautifully excellent, I said beautifully, that's not even a word. But when I mean this is a very, 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 very excellent medicine to give your child if they have a pain or fever. Um, Cause I give my daughter this when she has a fever or she just went through, she's starting to go through teething. Actually she in the middle of teething. She has three teeth going on four teeth. And it's like this right here, cut the pain away within 30 minutes. Like, she, I don't have no problems if it's nighttime, none of that. No problems when I give her this. And it, you know, it's, I'm going to show you all a chart. I probably already showed you it. If not, I'm going to show you it before I end the video. That is a good chart to measure how much you should give your child by age and pounds. Um, that's how I know. And it tells you the milligrams and everything. That's how I know how to get my child. I'm a new dog. I said new dog. I'm a new father even though it's been a year and what is it september october november a year and three months um she actually just turned 15 months <laughs> she but my child very she, my daughter is very very easy to give this and it's this same medicine has a good flavor to it so your child might like it too much because my my daughter sees she's like she, she already know what it is, and I think yeah, it can. It don't even have to just be that. She just takes her medicine with no problem. When she was a baby, baby, it was very hard. But me in general, like I take medicine and take it back because I feel like I'm gonna get better. That's all I do. And most of the time when I'm sick, I sweat it out. That's one thing that's very, very good. Sweat the medicine out, not the medicine, but the um, whatever you have out. Like you turn on the heat because I just got sick and I feel so much better. Um. You take the take the medicine or whatever you before you take the medicine, you put on a lunch of layers and stuff. That's for the adults though. But and you know, bake your room. Like don't bake the whole house, just bake your room if you got kids. Bake your room and you be sweating. I'm still trying to make sure I get everything out. Um my next medicine I got is two things you can it's two of these that it's two of these different things that you could use in the nose. Cause my baby my baby girl, she only has, she had future sinus, future sinus problems. She gets that from me. I don't know if her, I think her mother has it too. Um, she most definitely gets it from me. I have a messed up sinus passage because I broke my nose, as y'all seen in the last video I told y'all. Um, but yeah, this right here, this right here, you, it's another one that's, um, baby infant sinus or something like, it's something something but it's made by the same people who make this that these are both too good both good but i like that one better than this one you know i had to get this one because when i got it it was out of store but with this one you have to make sure you give her give him or her two squirts reason being is because it is not it's not very workful like that like the other one so and you go in the store, you're going to see just these two. And they have a blue one of this kind. But I use this one on her. Um, it tells you on the back how many to use and how many pounds and all that other stuff. Um, pretty good medicine. Uh, I prefer not to give out Benadryl to kids, not kids, but babies. Reason being because Benadryl is like, it's for people for allergies and sinuses. But the thing about it is, what it, everybody knows the allergy in sinuses is mucus. When you dry up something, that's what basically you're doing. You're drying up something. I said base, but you're drying up something. So I wish you for most definitely get like Benadryl. If you have an infant, I don't care if it's an infant or not. It's very not good. Be, it's very not good. It's very not. It's it's very to me. It's not very good to use that. So. If you want to do that, make sure you give them a little dosage because you can have your, your child can actually stop, not stop breathing, but like have a hard time breathing because you're dry, you're dry, drying it up. Let me remind you, this is only for infants and toddlers. All this stuff I'm saying is only for infants and toddlers. No, no nothing on it over the age of three. Nothing, nothing at all. Okay, I'm not no doctor or nothing, but this all this stuff I'm talking about is like for real but I basically I do my research everything has research my mother have a big old medical book that has 
a bunch of home remedies, medicines that you should use, all that for infants, toddlers, kids, um, adults, um, you know, certain things that we all need to know. Pandemic or no pandemic, people should know about different medicines and what they're putting into their system. You know, for me, I smoke cigarettes and everybody knows cigarettes are not good, but it's a stress reliever. I'm about to quit very, very soon, but yeah, um, I feel like I'm forgetting the medicine. I really do. Um, but P.S. This this one right here, I tell you one thing. I tell you one thing. You can get this. You can get the one. It's a nighttime and sleepy something. Work. Of, I forgot the name of it, so I can't really say. It. That's why I'm not putting it in the video. But it's not that brand. But I usually use that. But they wasn't they didn't have it in the store at the time being so i'm going to go ahead and end it right here um so this is my first review first review and i did end of the day if you want to live life to the funnest subscribe right now it ain't nothing but a g thing yeah d